let's get started by creating a custom canvas in Procreate. So we're gonna start by just opening up the app and that will bring me to the main gallery page. Here's where I can see all the past projects I've worked on and you'll see I have all my projects organized in different folders so it's easy to search through my files. So to create a new canvas, you'll select the plus sign in the top right hand corner and you'll see that there's a number of pre-populated options for you to choose from, but we're gonna go ahead and create a custom canvas. So I'm gonna press on the plus sign that's right up at the top here, and that will bring us to this screen here. So let's start by naming the canvas. I'm just gonna tap on the text up top here and just call this Digital GR. Come along, children. Now we're gonna have a little music. All right and I can go ahead and hide the keyboard. And then we're gonna go ahead and modify the width and the height. So I prefer to work in inches. Right now it's set to pixels, so I'm just gonna click over to inches. I think it's just a personal preference. Uh, and I'm gonna set the width to 24 inches and the height to eight inches. So this is the size I use most often for digital graphic recording. I found I can capture about 60 minutes of content on this canvas size and that works for me. So now that I have my width and height selected, I want to make sure the DPI, which stands for dots per inch, is set to 300, which I see it is here. And this is really important because this has to do with the resolution of your canvas. So don't go lower than 300 so you don't get a really pixelated canvas. You'll see that based on the preferences I've set here, I have 34 layers in this canvas. So depending on how big the canvas is or how high your resolution is, that will alter the number of layers that you have access to. For digital graphic recording, 34 layers is plenty, so I'm happy with that. We'll go ahead and leave that. There are some other customization options over here on the left. You can customize your colors or how you're capturing the time lapse. We're not gonna modify any of those. We're all set there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Create. And our new canvas will open. So you can see this long rectangle shape. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a large piece of paper hanging on the wall, which I think is why this canvas really works for me for doing any kind of digital note taking. So just as a note, the canvas that you've just created is now saved as one of your canvas options. So when you go to create a new project, we'll go back out to our gallery and I want to create a new canvas. If I scroll down to the bottom, I'll see that Digital GR, I have a couple of these, but Digital GR is one of the preset options that I have now, so I can just go to it and access it quickly. All right, that covers how to create a custom canvas in Procreate.